But guys, I am here to help you with uh, this question here on page, um, I forgot what page it's on. This is on page 364. So Deborah asked it, and I know that, uh, I know that probably, like I put it on test before. So the practice test that I posted might not have this one, but you should practice it because it might be on your test. Okay. Also, um, you should go through the review exercise at the back of that chapter because there's a few questions there that aren't in the chapter that I sometimes throw in there too. So we'll talk more about that later, but yeah. All right. So anyway, look at this. Sphere A with charge of th negative three Q. Now it doesn't tell us what Q is. It just tells us like it's negative three Q. Okay. So Q is a, an amount of charge. We don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, is placed 1.5 meters. Okay, from an identical charge, so that is R, right? From identical charge sphere, another identical sphere, sorry, not identical charge, identical sphere, same size with charge, positive 5Q. Okay, so one's negative, one's positive. The two spheres are brought in close contact and then separated by a distance. Okay, so here's the deal. These two spheres are charged, they're brought into contact, and then they're separated out to 1.5 meters again. Okay, and then it says at that time, Okay, the magnitude of the force between the spheres is 8.1 times 10 to the negative 2 newtons. Okay, so here's the deal. If you have two charges, and this one's negative 3q, and that one is positive 5q, what you do is the total here, okay, the total charge in terms of q is plus 2q, right? Does that make sense? Because just add them together. Negative 3q plus 5q is positive 2q. So overall, there's a total, a net positive charge, okay? And what the, what happens when you charge by contact is they're going to share the total equally, and it's equally because they're the same size. They're identical spheres. If one was twice the size of the other, they wouldn't share them equally. But whenever you get a question like this, it's always going to be equal. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. So, um, therefore, once they come into contact, so this is while they come into contact. Okay. And then afterwards, we'll draw the two spheres again. Afterwards, it's going to look like this. Q. Whoops. They're each going to have the charge of Q here, and I'll separate them by 1.5 meters. Okay, and here they were not separated, they were instead, there was some contact there. Okay, so then they're separated out to a distance of 1.5 meters. Now, you see what they've done. There's a total charge of 2Q, so they each get 1Q each. Just take the total and divide by 2. So, like, each sphere gets 2Q divided by 2, or just positive Q each, okay? All right, now... It says you separate them to 1.5 meters, and the next thing it says is that when they're separated at the distance, the force between them is 8.1 times 10 to the negative 2 newtons. So now we're just going to do that the equation, the electric force, is kq1q2 over r squared. Since they have the same charge, kq squared over r squared like this. And so now the electric force is 8.1 times 10 to the negative 2. So that's 8.1 times 10 to the negative 2, okay, equals 9 times 10 to the 9 times q squared divided by 1.5 squared, okay? Now, what you do is you uh, will find q, okay? And I'm going to actually do this one for you. So it's 8.1 exponent to negative... 
times 1.5 squared equals divided by 9 exponent 9 equals square root equals I get 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6. So Q here is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. All right. Okay. Now that is actually not the answer. Okay. To um, the number of electrons transferred from one sphere to the other. Okay. Explain which way they moved and so on. Okay. So here's the deal. This is sphere. I'm going to, we're going to go back to this picture. This is sphere A. This is sphere B. Okay. Now sphere A afterwards and sphere B afterwards have a different amount of charge than they had before. Okay. So how many Q's were transferred from one to the other? Well, let's look at sphere A. Sphere A was at negative three Q and it went to positive one Q. So how many Q's difference is that? Well, that's four Q's, right? Like it four Q's like it got plus four Q's, but here's the thing though, electrons are negative. So it's actually the one that's losing. And what happens is electrons will travel from here to here, okay, until they reach this equilibrium where they have the same charge, right? So the question is how many Q's were transferred? Well, looks like four Q's, right? So if, if, neg like if negative four Q made its way over to here, negative four Q, then what will happen is this guy lost a negative four and became a positive one Q. And this positive five gained a negative four and it went down to positive Q. Make sense? Like, because five minus four is one and negative three minus negative four. Okay, because it lost, so we minus it, is positive one and they both end up with the same charge. So the deal is 4Q are transferred. So for question A, 4Q are transferred. Therefore, the, the charge transferred is equal to that number, 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6 times 4. And I get 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. But they're saying how many electrons? Well, N E would have to equal 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So now I just divide by the elementary charge, 1.602 exponent 19 negative, uh, 1.12 times 10 to the 14. So N N will equal 1.12 times 10 to the 14 electrons. That's a lot of electrons, right? So like a billion is 10 to the nine, a trillion is 10 to the 12. So that's like 112 trillion electrons, okay? Are transferred over. But that, you know what? They're so small and insignificant that this kind of thing is kind of normal, right? All right, so here's the deal. Now it says, find the uh, magnitude of the electric field and the electric potential midway between the two spheres. I assume they mean after they touch. This one's easy. The electric field would be zero, okay, between the two spheres. So in question B, why is the electric field zero? Well, if we draw a little free body diagram here, let me let me draw A and B again for you. So here's A, here's B, okay, and here's your point midway between the two spheres. Well. You put a little positive test charge there that they're both positive now so you're going to get a is going to push it that way let me zoom in and b is going to push it the other way it's easier with a broken pan if i zoom in okay um, these things are going to cancel out because they're both the same magnitude and same and opposite direction so the net you can work it out if you want but you're going to get zero okay now, what about the potential? Well, the potential is different. To get the potential, VA would be KQA over RA, right? And VB would be KQB over RB. We know what QA and QB are. They're both uh, 1.5 times 10 to the negative, 1.8 times, or sorry, they're both 
4.5 times 10 to the negative 6. So you're going to get the same numbers here. Okay. And R is halfway in between, so it's 0.75. So R A equals R B equals 0 0.75 meters. I'll let you finish this. Q A equals Q B. And they're both, what is it? 4.5 times 10. Positive 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, of course, you're going to add these numbers together. The total voltage would be VA plus VB, right? And that's it, my friends. That's how you do question B. Now, there was a question C, I believe. Determine the magnitude of the initial electric force between the spheres. All right, well, here's where we figured out what Q was, right? 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6. So in question C, you're going to go the initial electric force would be K, Q, A times Q, B over R squared. R hasn't changed. R is still 1.5. Okay, so that hasn't changed. But Q, A has changed. Q, A was negative 3 times, sorry, don't, don't put the negative sign. It's 3 times 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6 because it's negative 3 Q, right? And QB would be 5 times 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, this will be an attractive force between them. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, just go ahead and do it. It's going to be 15 times, like, because 3 times 5 is 15. So, it's going to be 15 times the answer in 8. Right? Because everything's the same except for the 3 and the 5. So, it would be 15 times the answer in 8. All right then, so uh, that's it. Um, and it'll also be an attractive force, so it'll be in a different direction. So that's how you do that question. So it's page, uh, whatever I said, page whatever I said, and uh, number one on that page. All right guys, enjoy. That's lots of videos today. I'm, I know you're enjoying it. Okay, so don't deny it. I know it's true. All right, talk to you later.